What is going on guys? We have a fun one today. We're filming and editing this one entirely on a GoPro. We're gonna show you how to start your own fishing channel the easiest way possible. One camera and get things done. Let's go ahead and get into it. Now, this video is sparked by tons of questions I get on my Instagram DMs, uh, plenty of comments within the YouTube section. We're gonna cover uh, everything we use gear-wise, what you may need, what you may not need. Uh, we're gonna cover some pro tips that you probably have never heard, as well as the basics, GoPro settings, etc. So let's go ahead and jump in. Right now, we are filming on the GoPro Hero 8. Uh, the new edition, you don't definitely don't need an 8 to get started. We literally have you guys right here in the chest mount. We're going all out today, boys. Let's put this back over here and uh, talk to you about our gear first. We have a fishing vlog portion of this video that uh, you're gonna see here in a little bit. We actually catch a fish, we uh, hit some new waters, it's gonna be fun. Again, using just a GoPro, so let's talk about our gear. First of all, I got my notes here because you guys know I lose track of things as I talk frequently, so hopefully we won't with this right here. Let's talk about the GoPro options. So there's the Hero 4 is where I would start. I wouldn't go any lower than that. Anything Hero 4 and above is a great option for your fishing vlogs. And I actually think the Hero 4s have better audio because they don't have a built-in waterproof housing. So without using a microphone, you get great audio from the 4s. Then you move into the 5s and 6s, which Devin and I have used on the channel for the longest time now before grabbing this eight. The fives and sixes are fantastic. I believe the sevens is when they started incorporating the stabilization, which you don't need for fishing vlogs. I think you kind of want that, that really cool, you almost want that shake for a hook set, or maybe you want to show, um, you want that look, in my opinion. So I don't think you need that stabilization. Here's why I would definitely not use the stabilization is because I like to use the widest field of view. That way you can capture everything when you're out fishing. You don't wanna be missing out on maybe your retrieve if the angle isn't wide enough. You, don't, you wanna be able to capture the entire scene. So I always, with my settings on the GoPro, I have it in super view. And we'll talk about that more here in just a minute. But back to the GoPro options, the fives and six, uh, have been great for us. The sevens as well have that stabilization. The eight is just almost overkill. I will tell you the one thing that is nice about having the Hero 8 is battery switches because it doesn't have, so with the Hero 8, you're literally just mounting the GoPro to the little screw right here instead of having to put it in a case like this. So what that means is that it's literally the GoPro and there's two pieces that come out from the bottom of this Hero 8 and you plug it right in and so you, you are uh, caseless which actually makes for better audio I found like when I'm running. No way. Forgot the other GoPro batteries in the car. Gotta grab those real quick because this one's low. And uh, just kind of talking on the go, it seems like you hear the camera shaking around in this case on some of those older models. So the audio on the 8 is nice and also battery switches are faster and we'll talk to you about using a wireless battery pack versus changing batteries. So what I have to do on the older GoPros is, you know, your, your battery dies, you take it out of the case here, you open up the bottom, you grab a new battery, switch it out, crank the thing back on, put it back in the harness, and you can get back to fishing. This could take a minute. Well, with the Hero 8, let's say the battery's dying, I turn it off, and I literally just open up the side door, because it's not in one of those cases, and then you can just pull the battery out and change it. It takes seconds compared to the time you might be wasting during a prime bite uh, if you're using one of those older models. So that is a plus with the 8. Now let's talk about uh, audio, because we've used mics in the past, and you can get great audio. I believe with the Hero 4s, you don't need an adapter, but with the Hero 5, 6, 7, 8, uh, you definitely have to use this adapter to plug in a microphone. So you're going to have to have this bulky thing plugged in, and then you're going to go out and get you any one of these lapel mics. Just grab you, you know, you could get cheap, expensive. I use some cheaper ones. These are probably 15 bucks or something. And what you'll do is you'll plug the mic into that adapter, then you'll snap that onto your chest mount, and you can get some fantastic audio. The downside, though, and why most fishing vloggers don't use mics is because there's always a connection issue or some short and you'll end up, it will end up ruining some of your videos. I will promise you, it will end up ruining some of your videos. You will just get no audio because even though you have stuff plugged in, it wasn't connected properly or for some reason you changed a battery and then it wasn't plugged in right or what have you and it has cost me some amazing audio and excitement in some of my, uh, what I consider fantastic videos. So, I don't use a mic anymore and that is that. I've noticed it seems like on the eight, the sound is a little bit more muffled. 
than the five and six, but then there's that trade off of the quicker battery swaps and the better audio when you're running and really moving and it's not shaking around inside of a case. So I'm, I'm, I'm liking the eight and disliking it at the same time. It seems to be working out well. Probably the last three to four vlogs have been using the eight. Uh, otherwise, it's been the Hero 6 for me for the majority. As far as camera settings, I like to shoot in 4K because you're shooting such a wide angle. Sometimes I wanna be able to maybe zoom in if a fish breaches the surface of the water as we're pulling it in or just something funny happens and you wanna get a little zoom, that extra res uh, resolution is great. But at the same time, 1080 is just fine. A lot of people are viewing the videos on their phones, smaller screens like their tablet or laptop. 1080 is just fine, so you don't feel like you have to shoot 4K. So that is that. Also, when it comes to card space and SD cards, we always use 128 gigs. You can pick them up on Amazon. I will link them below. And that offers four hours of 4K footage on most of these GoPros. If you're shooting 1080, I'm sure you'd get almost double that. You'd probably get at least six hours of footage. That could be all day fishing on one card. And I recommend not needing to switch your cards out multiple times. You've got all this footage on different cards. 128s are fantastic. And then of course they're the micro SDs to fit inside of the GoPro, but a lot of them these days come with these adapters here. Now this adapter just literally puts the micro SD into a larger sized SD um, adapter. And then you can use it with things like this Apple adapter if you wanted to plug it into your uh, iPhone and you can actually transfer your footage to iPhone without having to use the Bluetooth, which I actually edited on iMovie app on my phone until I hit 8,000 subscribers. So you could utilize this if you have the space on your phone or using that adapter, it also allows you to plug it into your computer. Uh, we've got one of those newer Macs without SD card ports on the side, which is kind of lame, but we use this guy right here. I will link this down below, the hyperdrive, and then you can plug the SD cards or the micro SDs directly into that. That way you can get your footage onto your video editor of choice, which I'm not gonna talk about a lot today, but I do use iMovie, very simplistic. I've talked many times about switching to something like Premiere or Final Cut, and I'm actually working with them right now, trying to gather, uh, trying to understand them a little bit better, but uh, they're very confusing. Very confusing, iMovie is so simplistic. Just find the easiest video editor, in my opinion, to get going on your vlogs. Now, I don't just wanna continue rambling on about nonsense, so let me show you another thing I utilize for all my videos, is this guy right here. It's called a power ad, and it's almost like a converter, but it offers USB ports right here, so I can have this thing plugged into the kitchen, and then I can charge all my GoPro batteries on the fly. Check this out. I don't buy full price GoPro batteries. I buy this Wasabi brand, triple charger with, I believe it comes with three uh, or four batteries. And so literally I just keep this thing plugged in in the kitchen over here. I come home after a vlog, I start charging these batteries and you, I've got like two or three of these I believe. And so I can charge like six to nine GoPro batteries at a time. So you're really good for all day. Each one of these is gonna last you about an hour. And they, in my opinion, work just about as good as the GoPro batteries. All of them over time are gonna expand with the heat using these things during the summer. I have to call you right back. And so you, they do have a shelf life. Also these little tabs, these little tabs may come off from pulling the GoPro batteries out of there. It's just little things. You're gonna have to reinvest in the batteries. That's why I get the cheap stuff and it is effective. I will link these below in the description as well as everything else if I forget to mention it. I just keep my charged GoPro batteries in this little pouch. I keep it in my tackle backpack. As soon as I need a new battery, I'm in here and I grab one of my 10 to 12 batteries. I probably need to grab some more and just get some fresh ones because some of these are starting to expand. Like I'd said, you know, they get hot and overheat running in the GoPro all the time. So there's that. Now you're absolutely going to need a chest mount. If you plan on making fishing vlogs, you can pick them up uh, locally for probably 40, 50 bucks. You can find them online. I think the GoPro certified ones work fantastic. You can find some cheaper ones. You might not have as good of a connection. Uh, I don't have much say in it because I haven't used any of them except for GoPro certified ones. So literally you just toss the thing on, snap it in. There's so many adjustments, whether you're short, tall, big, small, don't matter. Uh, literally, you loosen them up, tighten them up, crank it down to right where you want. And also, I always make sure I have the GoPro tilted all the way up. So the GoPro is tilted all the way up. Sometimes you think you might need to angle down a little bit. Then you really can't see much of the horizon and it's, it's unappealing to the eyes. The only time I really angle my GoPro down is if I'm fishing off a bridge or maybe a taller boat, just some, like maybe if you're fishing beds in the right below you, just there's certain instances where I will loosen this up and tilt it down. Otherwise it's cranked all the way back up to the top and tightened down. So 
you're absolutely gonna need a chest mount. You can even unstrap it if you make a catch or you're trying to do your intros, and you can use your GoPro for everything, just staying right inside the chest mount, making it so easy to capture a full vlog like you're about to see at the tail end of all this information, and using the GoPro. So simple, I just wanna get more people making these videos because I have so many questions on how to do this stuff, and it's very simple. It's not that it's easy. You are gonna have to invest some money to get a setup like this going, and then you have everything you need and you can just rock and roll. So I want more of you guys who are asking me these questions in the comments section to be making these videos. That is why I chose to put this video out there. I don't feel like there's enough of this information out there. So. Let's now talk about batteries versus a battery pack because some people say, well, Weston, can't you just plug a battery pack into your GoPro and have like all day battery life with maybe just one GoPro battery? You certainly can. I have used these MyCharge ones for that, but I tend to either not like the weight of this in my pocket or maybe the fact that sometimes it just randomly turns off and the battery gets a little bit lower and I feel like I still don't feel comfortable just walking out of the house with one GoPro battery and a portable battery pack. If you have a battery pack on you, and it's a good one, then go ahead and use it and plug it into the side of your GoPro and you will be set. You'll be fine. Uh, for me, I prefer just switching out the batteries. You know, I can charge, like I said, six to nine at a time, be good for the next day's video, and I have run with that system. You just find something that works for you and you run with it. We want you to just do whatever works best for you. So if you have a portable battery pack, great. If you don't, do not spend the 50 to 100 bucks on a lot of these things that they're charging and just get some more of those batteries, you will be set. So I don't think I missed much, but again, I shoot in 4K and I always like to shoot on the widest setting available, which is the super view. I don't shoot on wide or linear or narrow. I always shoot on super view. That way you capture the most area when you're talking about your fishing vlogs and it's mounted to your chest so your arms might get in the way. You might not be able to see a whole lot if you're not in that super view and that is the angle that I choose. When it comes to frames per second, you're seeing this on 24 right now, which makes motion uh, natural to our eyes. Okay, so I'm not the best at explaining this, but 24 frames per second is uh, the same rate at which our eyes see the motion have. Like if you look at this fan in the background, if you guys see that fan spinning at 24 frames a second, it looks a natural amount of motion blur. If you were to switch this to something like, like 120 frames a second, which you might do for stuff like slow motion B-roll. You can do that on the GoPro and get fantastic looking footage, but you don't need 120 frames a second. It will make your footage look very jumpy and jittery. Let me demonstrate that for you guys right now. I will switch the GoPro over. So let me just kind of do a little bit of this. Everything looks natural as far as the movement goes. I'm gonna put you in 120 frames a second, but we're not gonna play it in slow motion and we're gonna see how it looks. Okay, so we're now shooting in 120 frames per second. You can get away with this, but again, I'm pretty sure it looks jumpy. If you look like something, if you look at something like the fan up here, it should look unnatural. It's almost like your eyes are trying to catch up with it and you don't see any blur back in 24 frames a second. Stick around till the end and I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of how we do our editing on our MacBook. So we're gonna show you guys how we take the footage from the GoPro using this guy right here, the hyperdrive, show you importing to our application of choice, which is iMovie at this time of this video, and show you guys how we make some cuts and really put a video together. So stick around and stay tuned for that. This will probably be a 20 minute video or longer. We're really taking you in depth today. I hope you guys enjoy it. Go ahead and drop a thumbs up for me. Hit the subscribe button and also put your notifications on all if you're missing out on some notifications for my videos because I know a lot of you guys have it on occasional notifications. Now let's get to fishing. What's up guys? Back at it again with Bryce over here. Check out the boy. Anyways, y'all just saw Bryce in the Leaning Tower of Dallas video and we're going to go ahead and pond hop real quick. There's a spot we've really never hit and today's video is all about showcasing how easy and simple it is to make a vlog with just one camera being the GoPro because uh, let's face it, I'm on a time crunch today. A lot of you guys don't have a lot of time to make videos but check me out. Here's how you can make it happen. Maybe you can see the reflection. The GoPro is already on the chest mount. And I'm literally going to just put this thing on, get my one rod and reel out of this car, see if you guys are interested in even making videos before you hit me with questions like what is the best camera, this, that, and the other. Just grab a GoPro, get a chest mount, get any size SD card over like 32, 64 gigs. I personally use 128s. You can find them on Amazon for cheap. And uh, any GoPro 4 and up will work just great. I would go for the cheapest one if you're trying to start out your channel. And like I said, we don't have a lot of time. So I'm only filming on this today. It's going to be a bunch of fun. Let's go ahead, grab the rod and reel out of the car and get over to the pond right here. The manhole is raised up. Yeah. And it's probably louder. I bet, dude. Yeah, oh yeah, whenever like you're at valet and you hear a loud noise, you're like, oh, what I just hit. <laughs> Alright guys, so there we go. Strapped up with the GoPro. I have the uh, 
one rod out there. I just need to get some drop shot baits and I'm good to go. Where they at? Watermelon red flake, that'll do. Wanna take much today? This terminal tackle, in case I need that. That should be everything. If I'm missing out on anything, Bryce might have it. Be a pair of pliers just in case. Never know what we might get into. All right, oh, don't leave the keys on top of the car. All right, let's start this episode already. I'm gonna untie this, tie on the drop shot. I've hit this pond one time before and didn't catch anything, but I've seen that there's catches here logged on the Fish Brain app. Nothing really big, but I'm not worried about that. I just wanna see if we can catch something today and showcase a fishing vlog filmed on GoPro only because you're not gonna have to get a big camera like you think. Everyone thinks I need a secondary camera. Then you gotta worry about two memory cards. Um, you know, it's just, it's just what it is. You don't gotta worry about mics. Just keep it simple. Grab a GoPro, you're gonna need extra batteries, a lot of stuff to think about, so you don't need to be worrying about going all out right off the bat. Just start creating, see if you even like making these videos, taking the time to edit them, post them up, use that creativity, then we can talk more about what camera to get. So, here we are, about to throw that drop shot. Boy, does this look good. Man, this is what you don't wanna do, is get to the pond and freaking have to re-rig, but I got this little trout lure on here. One odd drop shot worm hook and the quarter ounce weight. When you're tying your drop shots, I'd, I'd use a Palomar knot, but then you wanna make sure you go back through the eye of the hook right here, down. So that what happens is when that weight is on there, it pulls that hook and keeps it in that upright position. Then you can go ahead and nose hook your drop shot bait. Today I'm using a small worm and you are good to go. Time check, it's 3.38. I gotta leave here at like 4.15 or 4.20. So I got, I got a little bit of time to throw this drop shot. I got three of them here. So if I really start slaying, Bryce is throwing the moving bait. I'm down on the bottom. There's definitely some stuff to get caught in on here. I've seen some stuff to get snagged on that last time I was here. No, oh, this is an unusual video if I just got one rod and reel. All right, check us out, man. We are ready to go. Let's start fishing. Forgot the other GoPro batteries in the car. I got to grab those real quick because this one's low. We're live. I just get these Wasabi brand ones, you guys. I buy these off of Amazon in like a three pack with a triple charger. That's the way to go, man. Forget paying extra. We got like 10 of them or something. I think we had 12 or 13 at one point, but you know, some batteries burn out. Some of the batteries, even the GoPro ones, like this strip comes off and then you can't pull them out anymore. You start using these things in the summertime in the Texas heat and do these batteries expand and you can't even pull them out of your GoPro anymore. So you gotta expire these things after a while. But anyways, I don't know how there wouldn't be fish in here. I mean, there has to be something. Yeah, today, I wonder what Bass Forecast says the rating is today for the bite too, because I, I haven't like looked. Four, is, you, did four. you maybe look? Yeah, so it's low, but at the same time. We're worth the prime time for today. Are we? Yeah. There goes a little. Yeah guys, Bryce and I are gonna try and walk this whole thing probably before I got a split in half an hour, but uh, I just figured I would finesse it down today, see if I can't get any bites out of this pond. Cause like I said, I got no bites last time, but I know there's fish in here. The water's got pretty good clarity, so I'm throwing a natural color. Oh, there we go. Look, look at the bank. Look, what is this? I don't know if those are bass, dude. And then something decent size got spooked from right there. I don't know if those are bass. Are they? Those are little baby bass. All right, dude, I'm catching them then. Bro, oh my God. There's a hundred of them. Bryce is almost falling in over here trying to save his crank. I'm just trying to catch a bass that he don't spook walking my whole bank. Oh, here's more. Dude, they're hanging out up shallow. Oh, they are roaming. Look at all these little quarter pounders. Damn, they're getting spooked off by the drop shot. Dude, there's a whole herd. Look, one's got it. I got him. I got him. Yo, yo, I got one of these little tykes. No way. Look at the dragon drop is literally as long as him, but he's got a cool little pattern. No way. He smoked that thing. Ha! That is what I'm talking about. Yes, guys, first fish of the day on the GoPro only vlog. I knew there was fish in here. Roaming the banks, look at all these splashes right here. Dude, they were flocking. They You're about to snag one. <laughs> Let's get this GoPro exclusive. I'm gonna have to unstrap y'all for this. We're getting the good angles. That's how you do it. Unstrap the, unstrap the chest mount for your third person shots. Drop them back in. Here we go. Go on. Cruising. Heck yeah. 
that's what I'm talking about, man. GoPro's all you need. Let me strap you guys back in. Locked and loaded. Hands free for the next catch. Sick! That's so cool, man. That's cool. That's what, I mean, I've caught some small bass. You should see my comments section. <laughs> I don't know. My haters will tell you otherwise. <laughs> yeah. Everything he catches. These guys are literally right here. I cast it right on top of their head. No way they're going to bite that. They probably just got spooked off. Let me give it a second. Pop that drag and drop. Keep the line tight. Dang, I think I just spooked them. Here comes more though. They're literally just roaming the bank. Dude, by the hundreds. This is insane. They're, oh, here they go. They're going to be looking at it. They are driving by it right now. Oh, oh, oh. You can't tell me you don't want that. Look, look, some are flocking. Come on, bite it. Bite it. Oh my gosh. Oh, whoa. I I just had something chowing it. Yeah. There we go, same cast. Bring it right back through the same area. I'm gonna find out what was nibbling on this thing. I think Bryce and I are wrapping things up. It is, yeah, I know. It is 4.11, I gotta get over to work. Luckily it's close by, but we're pulling things together for you guys on just the drop shot rig, the little Adidas bag, and the work attire, man. So this is how you can start your channel uh, on a time crunch, on a budget. Go ahead and get you a GoPro, rock this thing. And uh, yeah, all you gotta do is take out the SD card. You can even use the app that comes with the GoPro to put it on a mobile editor. I edited all my vlogs on iPhone until about 8,000 subs. Uh, and then I transitioned over the computer. And I think I was doing, you know, at least three months worth of fishing vlogs after I had already done other videos and vlogs on the channel before I got a secondary camera, which some of y'all might call the, the main camera. So you don't need all that stuff, man. Just get started on the cheap and let's make some videos. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace. <clears throat>